I am very intrigued by these items here. This is awesome. How did you find or come across this Ramones? What is this, a? Yes, they call it letter opener slash switchblade. <laughs> um, came from Sire Records. I quit college and interned, uh, and then got a job in the newsroom at Billboard's number one top 40 station in the country at the time. Solid. KFRC AM in San Francisco. And I got it basically on the cusp of my interview with the original members of the Ramones. This was way back in 1977. The music director at KFRC gave me this. It was to commemorate the release of their second album, which was Ramones' Leave Home. It's the coolest swag I've ever gotten from a record company in my life. I mean, first of all, the Ramones are one of my favorite bands of all time. Oh, and yeah. spending, spending any moment with Johnny, I've, I, I've had the privilege <laughs> of spending some time with him. I can just imagine, uh, okay, oh, all right, all right, Lori. Lori, this is the worst Johnny Ramone impersonation. All right, Lori, ask me some questions. I want to get out of here. Right, like, he was like, let's do this fast. This, to me, did he touch it? Did he, did he give this to you? Was he playing with it? No, actually, I didn't have it in the room with me at the time. I probably should have, but didn't think about it at the time. I was just so excited about doing the interview and asking them who invented punk. British or New Yorkers. And so, of course, they <laughs> automatically said, we did. Yeah, they did. We, yeah. we came yeah. up with punk rock. Yeah. And everybody from the Sex Pistols on down copied us once they saw us, once we were in London. Braggadocious. Love yeah, it. Of Love course. it. But this, this wonderful, you know, bright yellow grapefruit book, this I feel like is, there's going to be a special story here. Well, Grapefruit was Yoko Ono's 1964 conceptual art book that's basically instructional poetry. It's really fun in its own way. And the yeah. reason she called it grapefruit is because she saw grapefruits as a hybrid between a lemon and an orange, and she saw herself as a hybrid. This book, uh, I need to find a copy. So what was the story? Before I quit college, I was at Berkeley, mm -hmm. walking down Telegraph Avenue, there was Cody's bookstore, and they had the dollar bargain table. And this was on it, and I thought, I can spend a dollar and get Yoko Ono's Grapefruit, introduction by John Lennon, right. of course. And then after that, um, John Lennon and Yoko Ono were coming out with Double Fantasy, yeah. and they weren't going to do any radio interviews at all. And then they said, okay, we'll do one. And um, when it came out that, that we were going to get to go to New York to interview John and Yoko, I thought, oh, well, I got to bring this. Yeah. And then when I showed them the book, it was as though they hadn't seen it in years. I could tell their hearts were just beating and glowing, and it was, it was incredible. And I didn't even suggest signing it. John said, oh, we need to sign this. And I said, yes, please. Can you show us what's in there? Wow. That's right. They drew cool. in it, too? John drew in it. I mean, that's the typical His glass, John so... cartoon of him and Yoko. So... That's how I ended up at the Dakota wow. with John and Yoko on December 8th, 1980, several hours before I, he was I'm, shot and killed. I'm just, I, I'm getting goosebumps. That makes me miserable thinking about losing him and, and what this book must mean to, to you and how special this is. What is the value of this awesome collection? Well, everyone who's a Ramones fanatic must know about this letter opener slash switchblade there's not very many copies available at all they, they probably made less than a dozen i would think definitely i would think that it's worth at least a thousand perhaps fifteen hundred dollars wow yes and maybe even more in a this really competitive nicest, auction it's the nicest present you've ever you know. given me <laughs> or i don't even know you it's so sweet it's so great thank you thank you <laughs> but now let's focus on the grapefruit book what do we think that that's Worth. A signed copy by John and Yoko has also come up for auction in the last few years, and that went very well. It was like $1,500 just for a, an, an anonymous copy of it right. signed. Your copy, with this provenance, with this tragic historical moment that it actually is, it represents in a way, I think in a competitive auction that is highly promoted, that lots of Beatle fans are aware of, the sky's the limit. It could be in the fifty dollars to $100,000 range easily. Wow. Yes. Really? Definitely. Is that what you w thought it might be worth? I've been offered $85,000 for this, and that was several years ago, mm -hmm. which I didn't accept and don't plan to at this time either. I mean, I think it's so unique. I mean, it's priceless, but that seems like a, a, a pretty amazing sum of money for, 
for this book. I, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your story, sharing your collection. Lori, you're amazing. Thank you.